We're making a fairly high 3D printed drone. Well, let's go. In this episode, we install the flight control. Hostage. There you go. So uh, dual hosts. Dual, dual hosting. Yes. Yeah, so um, two. Thanks very much for tuning into this exciting episode. This is part four. Yeah. Part four of this exciting world's first attempt um, of series. the build series of the flying Crowley High drone project. That's right. So basically, we're fl we're attempting to fly a Crowley High <laughs> 3D printer on board a uh, 3D printed. Drone copter, heavy Quite lift drone, drone copter, yeah, heavy lift. So yeah, so it, so in this one, um, we're gonna um, jump into the world of autopilot, yes, tube pilot flight controller, and we're gonna do all the flashing, do all the electronics, and make it one step closer to achieving flight here on the channel. <laughs> cool. So that is pretty cool, really. That's right. So we have to thank all our sponsors. We have to thank you, most importantly of all, yes. and a special note to Crow Lady for making it possible. Couldn't do it without you guys. So I am Harry. I'm Richard. And let's get into this episode. And three, two, one, race. Okay, the build so far, we started with the miniaturized design. Yes, and then we jumped into different software, cut it up into CAD software, and then we started assembly. That's right, we jumped into K2 Plus with PPA CF carbon fiber filament where we printed the motor mounts and the main body structure for the drone and here it is what it looks like and let's get into this exciting episode here on the Edge of the Drone Racing Show. Okay so this is the third installment, no fourth part third stack. So yes, third, so third, third lucky. Uh, th third on the stack we're talking about a uh, um, distance to ground. Yeah. There you go. But so, mate, I mean, it depends on which is your direction, or which starts as the number one. Because technically we haven't done the bottom stack yet. Oh, or, or the technical. top stack, we haven't done that. So yeah, we're doing the middle outward for that. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so yeah, so main strut um, accomplished. Yes. And that we're doing one up from that, which is the power distribution, which is the flight controller, arguably the most important of all. Yeah, well, all the stack. second most important, it needs to... The brain's the output, if you will. I yeah. guess the control center. So yeah, so the first <laughs> one was, I'd say predominantly structural. Structural, you know, like you can't have a drone if it's not structural. So then the next one would have to be of importance, would have to be the flight control stack, right? Yes, okay, so in this particular uh, print that we're just gonna show you in a second is that part. Let's go have a look. Okay, so here we are in the uh, software and this is what we've been designing, uh, what order? <laughs> yeah changing things around so this is what we think we've got so far so this is the top top of the top of the box and this, and this is underneath so the reason why there's so many little um inserts is because of all the the bolt heads so you've had to allocate for that so what we've got here is harry's got a power distribution that we're going to be using and, and he's going to make up these holes here and that'll sit on top right about uh, there so that's one and then also and then this other um checkered square or oblong will be the Q part and that'll sit um, up there. There you have it. We've got the um, design underway and we're going to be heading over to the 3D printer to get it under um, printing phase. So let's go and get the printing done. So we've got the K1 working along here. It's, it's been working all night. We've been keeping an eye on yes. tabs on them. But what are we building 
with Hyper PETG hair. Yes, um, you can see it in there, and it's in the dryer, and it's. So that's 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 the filler. That's not the item. What what what? what <laughs> what are we building what are we here? Building? We are building these fellas. So That's right, so we're making the second stack as designed on the, the um, CAD designs. So we cut it up, slice it up into a piece to be a fit on this bad boy. Um, and it, it's, it's fine to do that because um, all the bolts will be in each section. So it works out quite well. Yes. This is this is the only um, to hold the flight, uh, controller. the flight controller and the power distribution. It's not under any structural load, yes. but just in case we've made it 60%, so it should be more than enough and capable to be able to take compression. Um, all good. So, so there's two, two parts uh, printed out. The third one is uh, 96%, That's and right. we've got one more piece to go to make a square, and then we can start doing the alley tracks. Okay, so here we are. We are on the, the science laboratory. On this one, so <laughs> specifically epoxy. Okay, so <laughs> yes, so yes, so lab more, coats on. So yeah, so more glue. Um, yeah, so what do we got? We got a we, we made up a template. Ta -da! That's right. We got a template because we printed the stuff on the K ones. So we had to slice it up, so we need to make sure all the holes line up. So we need a template to do that. So yes. we got a nice template there lined up. Built on the K two. This one. This was built on the K two. The, the the templates were made. The actual pieces made on the camera. Touche. Touche. So there we go. So we've got the template all good. Okay, so there you go. You can see the little pieces that were, were printed out overnight. And we need to join them together to make one big piece. And yeah, that's what we'll be doing next. And the idea is that you can see here with the, the carbon fiber nylon. This, the, 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 this, PPA CF underneath. Yes. The main strut. And then this part will go over the top um, when it's all flat. And we'll just do that in a second. And then now we'll start made, melting the electronics. So let's get into it. What are you doing, eh? Just roughing up those edges for the epoxy. And we'll get it nice and nice and gritty, and then we'll put some epoxy glue on. Okay, we're back at it. What are we doing, Richard? Trying to get this over here. Mixing up some glue. Trying to. Trying to mix up some glue. Well, nail. Is that too big? Yeah. No. All good? Is that? Sure. It's got a screw and cap this thing. Fancy. So we're super sure that this is the right way around. A solid B minus. B minus, yeah. Is there any particular uh, skill um, when applying epoxy which that you need to know? Mix it up. Slap it on, done. No, it? Slap it on and um, try and get it smooth. Try and get, you don't really want too much. Try and get a new type of glue, why not? Get a little bit later, you know? What do you like better, super glue or epoxy or gin? Mm, epoxy. Let's see if it lines up. The holes say that what? They're okay? Yeah. I think we can work with that color. Yeah. I'll say yes. Do we need to put some weight on it? Then it might bow up. You mean go down? Whatever. Hog. We don't want any hog time. We just want it to sit there nicely. Just think about nice things. And dry nicely. So we'll, okay. go, we'll go and watch this uh, glue dry. And um, then, um, yeah, then we'll then jump over and do something else white dry.
What are we doing, Richard? Attention it. Just putting it down now. Perfect. Click. Alrighty, GPS. GPS time. History plus. The, the arrow's that way, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I did. I'm not sure that one. I'd love to that. So anyway, there we go. That's the What's hit. in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? It's, it's a somewhat of an unboxing. Sort of. Sort of an unboxing. Because uh, you have to unbox. You have to unbox if you're going to put it on. There you go. And then, what do you reckon? That goes on there? Yeah. So we managed to get it, we managed to get it through the little hole. Then I need it. Let me take that off. This can sit here too. Really, what do you reckon? Is that straight? Straight. What are we doing? Oh, testing? Yeah. Oh, just, calibrating? Just needs to be semi perfect Semi. Semi pro. What do you can one? Uh, yeah. As in, can I do one? Yep. There you go. Hey, what are we doing? Okay, so we just um, just plugged in for the very first time, and we're just about to do firmware flashing. All right. So, so some lights going. Yeah. So it's only just been on for like what a second. Just been okay, on so for a second. And she's copter because that's what it is. Are you sure you want to upload copter? Yep. Yep. See so what the or cube orange plus. And it's a great down. sound. Yeah, give it. Okay, unplug. Yep. Wait a second. This is the exciting stuff. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I think it might be like, yeah, we've got some data coming in. Okay, let's calibrate this bad boy. Okay, it's not level, so it's level. So at the moment you've got place vehicle on the left, so I'll click that. Three, two, one. Okay, now I'll place vehicle on the right. It tells you what to do. It's quick. We all good? Yep. Yeah. Three, two, one. Okay, place it nose down. It says smart putting on this board. We're geniuses. <laughs> genius, genius, genius. Okay, so this is nose down. Yep. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, nose up. Okay, three, two, one. Calibration successful. All right. Okay, so here we are in the field. Yes, here we are in the field, and we're about to what? Do the dance. Do the GPS dance. Do, do the deep. Do the. Not G the deep. <laughs> the GPS. <laughs> we're going to do the GPS dance. Yes, that's what it's all about. Configuration. Configurating it and our um, three plus. Yes, tune it all in, and let's go and do the dance. Connecting it. Good tone. Okay. 3D fix, it says. Uh, we're sitting at an HDOP of an accuracy of 0 0.7 and 16 satellites up there in the sky. So it's quite a few satellites. I can't see them at the moment, but I'm sure they're there somewhere. Okay, in three, a two, a one. Okay, cool, put that back down on the ground. You're good. Oh, sorry. There you go. That was a good uh, tone. Wait a little bit. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we're all good. Okay, plug it back in. That's a good go. result. Good sign. Okay, so there you go. That was good to see. And now, what's next? What are we doing now? Onto the next phase, which I think is a receiver. I think it's the receiver. Let's go and do that. And we're
we're back. back. So there you go. What an exciting episode. I like it. It was. Yes, one step closer to the cash, as Joe Rogan used to say on Fair Factor. There you go. But in this I'm case, sure it's that's... just one step closer to getting this drone completed, to getting the Crowley High flying high up in the sky, happily, yes. safely, and importantly, come down successfully. Yeah, it's what we want to see. And um, I'm pretty sure before that, that with the. Uh, Fair factor that might be trademark, but we'll just ignore that it's YouTube. We'll, we'll just, be, just, we'll just we'll give the trademark to, to Fair Factor. To Fair Factor. Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. So there you go. Big shout out for him. He's a cool dude. Okay, so um, yes, it should be exciting to um, get this guy into the air. And uh, what did we learn on this episode? Uh, we learned that everything seems to work correctly. You know, yeah. we've got the, um, we, we made up the, 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 did we design the board for, for the second, third, Depending on which way you're going, we'll, we'll call it the third um, stack. Stack in the stack. Yes. Uh, we made that a uh, hyper PETG, and yes, yes, um, yes. it works well. We we attach the power distribution and the Cube Pilot flight controller, yes. and we got into the nitty gritty, which is the, the dancing of the GPS with the Hair Three Plus, and. Um, Linking it all up with Mission Planner or otherwise known as Audi Pilot. Yeah, so there you go. The exciting part is yet to come. We will be hooking it up to motors. We'll be doing motor tests. And yep. most all importantly, you got to do if you want it to fly. Or most importantly, we will be putting goggles on and sending it to the air. So make sure if you haven't done it already, make sure you subscribe to see all that coming up. Yeah. on the channel that's right there you go so uh we'll jump on to the next segment on the show the um uh, movie of the week is <laughs> which is not too sure it is paycheck yes oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go <laughs> which is simply forgotten that's okay and paycheck is the movie that you should check out with uh, ben affleck and uh, Irma thurman yeah yeah it's a very cool actor and actresses in that film and it's kind of cool he gets to see uh the future and he wants to change it and it is the machine that he made. It is an engineer, so we thought that kind of works with what we're doing, pushing their limits and um, solving those problems, which I think quite relates to what we're it doing does, on this does. episode and series. So very, very sort of futuristic engineering, yeah. it, there you go. which so is very much the same as what we in, um, endeavor to do on this channel. Yes, and on this project. Okay, so that is the movie of the week. And your final thoughts for right now. The final thoughts, looking forward to adding all the other extra electronics, hooking up the motors like you were yeah, saying before, be cool. um, spinning up those bad boys, and um, getting into it. Get it yeah, getting get it, it done. Get, get it done. Yeah, okay, cool. So it shouldn't be too long now. We are getting excited, and I hope you are sort of too. ramping up the speed, isn't it? Yes, yeah. it is. Okay, now we're getting into the exciting stuff. So, we thank you very much for tuning in. Thanks very much for all our sponsors couldn't do without you guys. And a special note to Crowley yes. for making this series possible so, so the, yeah, thanks, yes man. thank you okay so here we go into uh, next week and, and three two one